Right, I'm on this little public footpath. Crook's Peak over there. In a minute, Brent Knoll will come into view. There's the wood I was in earlier to go to the tower. And this is a little by road. Um, somewhere up here, I think it's called Wint Hill. And they, they found Roman stuff here. I think they've even found skeleton. Um, there's been excavations on Wint Hill, which is somewhere up here. So this place would have been significant. This mound here could have been a, like a mini hill fort, really, isn't it? I mean, when I was cycling the other month, I was looking over at all these woods going all the way along. Um, and of course, I've I've climbed all that way really down. So I'm just exploring this side, really, of the valley. I can hear the motorway. I'll be coming up to a barn in a minute. It's on the map. Can't remember its name because I haven't got the map out, and I'm not going to get it out. Um, but this, this is a good picture of Crook's Peak. I just zoom in. A few people will be climbing that today, and over the bank holiday. A few people on top already. Over that way, it will be Hutton Woods, which I might be making my way to later. Um, it really depends on how I feel, basically. Um, I might just make my way back down to Banwell, but I don't want to keep climbing up and down. So I would love to be able to walk through Hutton Woods. So the possibility of doing that is a stronger. I'm also not going to do as much as I think I can do um, today. I want to be able to get to the other side of this woods to the other side of Banwell to find the route when I want to do Banwell Wood and the castle area another day. I'm not doing it all today because um, there's an awful lot to do. Um, the weather is... it'll probably be okay but it might not be as well. Here's a nice big falcon nut. See him? Out hunting. Look at that, that's a good one, isn't it? He's gone out of focus. Up in the thermals. Can't keep up with him. Right, that'll do. He's just saying hi to me as I go by. So yeah, I'm going to be realistic. There's something that, not only that, it leaves something to do on another day. Besides thinking to yourself, you've got to do it all today, you've got to go all around them woods. It's a long way. Um, it is something I'm considering doing because I'd like to know the route from the other side of Banwell towards Sanford as another one of my hikes that I can fit in, you see. Because I might be able to say to myself, oh yeah, and if anyone lives in there, it looks a bit overgrown, doesn't it? It's a little bit, I wonder. Might be someone in there. Nice place though, isn't it? It might be a holiday cottage. It might be a holiday cottage. I think it's got a name as a barn though. Look at the lovely view they've got from here though. View. Yeah, it's got a name. It's on the map, this barn. And um, 
Look, look, going back to what I said, yeah, it gives me another route that I could do, save, go, save going to Cheddar. We just have to see, really. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anyone in it, does it? No curtains up. It might be on holiday. Looks like there's another route down that way that you can get. That probably links up, could link up with that road that takes you across the motorway, couldn't it? I'm just going to turn off a minute, take a photo. Right, I just had a look at the motorway and it's chocker block. Now when I came in June or July, early July, whenever it was I came over here, I think it might be June-ish, because the Covid was, everyone was locked down, that motorway, I took photos of that motorway and it was empty. You look at it now, going north, the, it's one bumper to bumper, packed, and it's moving on the other side, packed. It's a really good view back there, I took some photos. I might take some more in a minute, of, with the video on. Looking for the tower, I haven't been able to see it yet. It's quite hot now, I'm feeling quite warm actually now, but I don't really want to take my jumper off. In case it goes cold again, the wind's dropped. The wind has dropped. But it's nearly time for a drink and a yogurt bar. I love those yogurt bars, you know. As you know, I've got oranges, an apple, cheese and tomatoes, two types of crisp, um, red Leicester crispy things and just ordinary plain crisps, banana, cake, sweets, chocolate. I got it all. I always prepare for a whole, for 20, something that would keep you going. If you say you passed out, well, if you passed out, you wouldn't be able to eat it anyway. But say you broke your leg, ankle. And you had to wait to be rescued. At least my phone's topped up. Put 10 quid in it last week. Then, basically, you'd have food. Now, I haven't brought loads of water, but I did have a good drink. I had a glass of water. I had a cup of tea, a cup of ginger and lemon tea before I came out. So I got hydrated. I've got two oranges. And I've also got, as a treat, a small carton of apple and pear juice. Which will be a nice little... I don't know. I don't really like apple juice, but I thought I'd try it. Anyway, there's the word. I still no sign of the tower. Um, like I say, I've been walked both sides of that now, and I've been up the middle. That's been wreckade now. Um, I said, I, I've got no idea where I'm going. But I don't care. Um, I'm heading towards Barnwell. I've got a feeling there should be some signs to follow a pathway a bit further up. Because I don't think I, I have to go on a road for long. Um... There's a possibility if I can get into Banwell Wood, I will try and do a bit of it. But it is quite a big wood, so I won't be doing a lot. Right, here's a nice little view. Let's go over, let's go down here a minute, everyone, and have a look. Now look at that scene. Well, that'll ha I'll be taking a picture of that. Absolute gorgeous. Look at that. God. Imagine being in me flat now compared to being here. Look at that, everyone. Over there we've got Brent Knoll, which I don't do every year. I think I might have done it last year, I'm not sure. 
come over a bit and we'll find the motorway in a minute. Caravan Park, so there's the motorway. A lot of traffic going north, isn't there? It went nothing like that last time I was taking views from a distance in the June. It was only big lorries and vans. What a difference. What a difference. And we go up there, we've got Crooks Peak. The few people on the top. And they've got a lovely view over there, over the Somerset landscape, everyone. Absolute beautiful. This is all new for my followers. This is new, nice new video. Some cows down there. And there's a I've walked I've walked all the way along the top there. I've walked everywhere really. Um because you've got road barrow and all that going that way. I've done all that as well. Shoot shelf hill, done it. Cycled along the all these tracks around here as well. Cycled all round here. Done it all. Corn top kills right over there, done them as well. And on the other side, done it. I've explored a lot these last 10 years, 12 years, since I retired. Over and out. Alright, I've just passed a lovely little home there with lovely gardens called Warren Cottage with magnificent views over to Crooks Peak. That is also on the map. I'm still looking for signs that might take me Here we go. This is a sign. Look. Public footpath. It could be that I've got to go up here. I don't know though. There's the back garden there, look. Of the Warren Cottage. Ah. Oh, there's a path through the bloody park. <laughs> Here we go. This is interesting, folks. I've got to walk for a cornfield. Right, before I carry on, let me just take a picture of this. Over and out a minute. Back on. Getting over the stile. It's all a bit of a mystery. I don't know if this is the footpath I should be taking, by the way. We'll see. It starts going up. Don't want to get lost, Shield, do you? You could easily get lost, couldn't you? These are the sort of adventures I go on. I don't want to get lost. But it does look like quite a defined pathway. Footprint there. Oh, I don't know. I think it looks too dodgy for me. I can't see where they would go next. Hold on. I don't want to get lost. I think I'd... Just go a little bit further. Just see. No, I think it's too dodgy. I'd get lost. I could roam around in this cornfield. We'll follow the road. Looks too risky. I think probably when the corn's not high, it'd be alright. No, I'm not doing that. Not in the... Not in the uh, summer with all this corn. I reckon it's going across the field anyway. Sorry, so that adventure. No, I ain't doing that. I don't even know if it was the way I had to take anyway, to tell the truth. No, I'm not doing that. I'd get lost in there. Over and out a minute. 